This is part three of our four part audacity guide. In this video, we'll cover how to use amplify and normalize. Amplify will increase the volume of the section you choose. It will do this even if it is beyond the clipping range of the track. Obviously this should only be used when you have a very quiet track and you know that raising the volume won't clip. Normalize is very similar to Amplify, but will correct DC offsets in your track. It also allows you to set the maximum amplitude. For a comparison, you can check out Audacity's explanation here. Amplify's increase or reduction is great when you need to spot edit. When you want to change a certain part of your track's volume, you just highlight that section, go to effect and amplify. Then choose the amount you want to amp it up or down in decibels. One thing to note is that if the OK button goes gray, that means that your audio will be clipping. If you really wanted to, you could check allow clipping and click OK, but this is warning you that your audio is going to actually distort. So find that sweet spot where the OK button is accessible. In this situation, my audio is extremely low, so amplifying it 20.1 decibels seems to do the job. Let's take a listen. This is me talking pretty low, and I definitely think the audio should be louder. And just as a reference, here's how it sounded before. This is me talking pretty low, and I definitely think the audio should be louder. It's also worth noting that Amplify could be used to decrease the volume. So in this scenario, I'm just talking a little bit too loud. This is me talking way too loud, and I think it would sound better if it was just a couple of decibels lower. So I'll just select this, go to Effect, Amplify, and I'll bring it down a little bit. And there we go. Not nearly as loud. This is me talking way too loud, and I think it would sound better if it was just a couple of decibels lower. For many of you, you'll be using loudness normalization the most. In many cases, it's the simplest and easiest way to get multiple tracks to be the same loudness. This is done in LUFs or LUFs, AKA loudness units relative to full scale. And you wanna aim for between negative 16 and negative 20 LUFs according to the Audio Engineers Society. There is no hard and fast rule, but for years, the standard was negative 16 LUFs for podcasts, so that's what we're gonna do here. First of all, select the tracks that you wanna normalize to the same volume, and then go to Effect Loudness Normalization. Then choose to set the desired level to negative 16 LUFs. And let's click OK. And just like that, our audio is now balanced out. Also, I did update Audacity halfway through this video because the effect loudness normalization is a little bit different in the older versions. And there you go. Now you know when to use Amplify and how to apply loudness normalization. Be sure to check out the final video in the series where we dive into compression and EQ.